Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will see liver enzyme test for the function of liver or the organ function test. So in this video, we will cover AST and ALT tests. If you are new to this channel, please press the subscribe button and click on the bell icon to get notified. So what are liver function tests and what is the significance of liver function tests? So that is what we are going to discuss in this video. So liver is one of the large organ that regulates most chemical levels in the blood and excretes products called bile. The major role of uh, liver is to detoxify the chemicals that are entered into the body and that breaks down balance and creates nutrient and also metabolizes drugs into forms that are easier to use for the rest of the body and that are non-toxic. So it basically detoxifies the chemicals that are ingested and more than 500 vital functions have been identified with the liver. So liver is a very vital organ and that maintains and balance nutrients, metabolizes drugs and detoxify the chemical compounds. So the liver function test is also referred to as hepatic panel and these are a group of blood tests that provide information about the state of a patient's liver. So to check the function of liver, we do the liver function test. So the liver function tests include uh, transaminases, alkaline phosphatase, albumin and total protein, bilirubin, GGT, lactate de dehydrogenase and prothrombin trime. So the, so the uh, tests for liver function include these listed ones. And in this video, we will cover the liver function test related to transaminases that is the AST and ALT. So the serum transaminases, uh, the liver is the richest source of aspartate transaminase which is previously called as the serum glutamate oxaloacetate transaminase or the SGOT and alanine transaminase or the ALT which is previously called the serum glutamate pyruvate transaminase. So SGPT and SGOT are the previous names for AST and ALT. The ALT and AST reactions are extremely important for the synthesis and degradation of amino acids. The oxalate and uh, pyruvate are oxidized by tricarboxylic acid cycle or the Krebs cycle to provide intermediate products that generate energy for the living cells. Although both AST and ALT are commonly thought of as a liver enzyme because of their high concentration in liver, only ALT is markedly specific for liver. So AST is not very specific for liver because it is present in myocardium, skeletal muscle, brain and kidney. So ALT is the specific marker for liver injury. So the normal range for AST and ALT are uh, for AST, the normal range is 4 to 17 uh, international units per liter and for ALT, it is 3 to 15 international units per liter. Coming to the principle of the AST test, the SGOT or AST present in the sample catalyzes the transfer of amino group from L-aspartate to oxaloglutarate forming oxaloacetate and glutamate. The oxaloacetate present in the NADH and the malate dehydrogenase is reduced to malate. In this reaction, NADH is oxidized to NAD. The reaction is monitored by measuring the rate of decrease in absorbance at 340 nanometer due to the oxidation of NADH to NAD. The addition of lactate dehydrogenase to the reagent is necessary to achieve rapid and complete reduction of endogenous pyruvate so that it does not interfere with the assay. So lactate uh, dehydrogenase is also added during the assay procedure. So that is the principle about uh, AST, principle of test of AST. Coming to the principle of uh, ALT test, the amino group is enzymatically transferred by SGPT or ALT present in the sample from aniline to carbon atom of the glutarate, oxo oxoglutarate uh, yielding pyruvate and glutamate. The pyruvate is reduced to lactate by LDH uh, present in the reagent with uh, simultaneous oxidation of NADH to NAD+. The reaction is monitored by measuring the rate of decrease in absorbance at 340 nanometer due to the oxidation of NADH. 
the endogenous uh, sample pyruvate is rapidly and completely reduced by ldh during the initial incubation period to avoid the interference during the assay so that is the basic principle of the ast and alt test coming to the clinical interpretation the alanine transaminase or the alt estimations are useful in early diagnosis to evaluate the severity of uh, prognosis of liver disease the primary clinical application of uh, serum ast and alt measurement is for the detection of differential etiological uh, diagnosis of hepatitis disease in hepatitis the levels of both these enzyme that is alt and ast are increased which can go in thousands of units usually from 500 to 1500 iu per liter in chronic hepatitis and cirrhosis the serum ast levels are higher than the alt and this may reflect the hepatic cell necrosis with the release of mitochondrial ast whereas in alcohol hepatitis the ast is more significantly increased than the alt so these are the clinical interpretation of the uh, liver function test of alt and ast hope you are clear with this topic if you like the video please press the like button and share it with your friends thank you